29 September 2022 Thursday For I will surely deliver thee because thou hast put thy trust in me Jeremiah chapter 39 and verse 18 Today's Bible verse is a part of the promises that Lord had given unto Abimelech through his servant Jeremiah. Abimelech was an Ethiopian who was a servant in the king's house. When he heard that Jeremiah was cast into a dungeon, as we observe in the previous chapter that is jeremiah chapter 38 from verse 7 to 13 ebed melek went to the king zedekiah at the time and requested that jeremiah may be brought out of the dungeon now the dungeon in other word the cistern was having no water but full of mire when jeremiah was cast into it he was sunk in the mire jeremiah was left there to die without food abed melek took all the rotten clothes and made cards with them and brought jeremiah out of the dungeon the lord had observed what abeth melek had done unto jeremiah it was the time when nebuchadnezzar attacked jerusalem and besieged it and defeated king jedekiah removed his eyes before all his sons and took him captive to babylon at the time the lord promised a special promise to abeth melek the lord protected jeremiah when jerusalem fell into the hands of nebuchadnezzar and told him to speak to abeth melek these words which are written in verse 16 to 18 of Jeremiah chapter 39 the lord said go and speak to abethmelech the ethiopian saying thus say the lord of hosts the god of israel behold i will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee but I will deliver thee in that day say the Lord and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid for I will surely deliver thee and thou shalt not fall by the sword but thy life shall be for thee a prey unto thee because thou hast put thy trust in me say the Lord when Abimelech brought Jeremiah out of dungeon as we see in verse 18 the lord saw that act as the act of trust in the lord this account is a wonderful striking and encouraging account whereby the lord rewarded a person who trusted in him and delivered his prophet from this we understand our lord will not forget for anything that we do in his name as it is written in matthew's gospel chapter 10 verse 41 if we do anything to a prophet of the lord we receive a reward of the prophet May the loving Lord reward each and every one who ministers to his saints and to his servants according to Hebrews 
chapter 6 and verse 10 amen